In the previous video, we discussed how to use masking together with adjustment layers. I would like to take that to the next step in this video, where I'm going to use again an adjustment layer together with masking, but we will also add some layer styles onto the same adjustment layer. So we will combine a lot of non-destructive techniques, but everything is again based on the masking principles. So as you can see in this image, all I want to do is again put the emphasis on this part where the little girl is sitting. So I am going to make, first of all, a selection. So let me select the rectangular marquee tool and make a selection here. While still drawing the rectangular uh, selection, I can press space on the keyboard to move the frame around. I would probably have something like this a portrait format uh, selection of this little girl here, like that. And I am going to choose an adjustment layer, and that will be again the black and white adjustment layer, just to add a very dramatic change. Now, once I select that adjustment layer, you can see we will have an adjustment layer together with the mask, and that mask has been already created based on the selection we created before. So it's already there. But I would like to invert that effect because I would like to have the girl in colors and everything else in black and white. So I go to, in the properties panel, to the masks option and I go down and choose invert. So I inverted the mask. Now I see everything else in black and white and I see this part in colors. So that's exactly what I wanted, but to make it even more stand out from the original background, I'm going to double click here on this layer, the black and white adjustment layer, and I am going to add a couple of effects on uh, this adjustment layer. First of all, add stroke. So I click on stroke to add that effect, change the color of the stroke to white, and then I'm going to add inner shadow, which will create the shadow. And if I have inner shadow selected, I can click and move that shadow around. So I'm going to keep it behind the image. I can make the stroke size a little bit bigger if I want. Something like that. Probably is enough. And now I click on OK. Now, as you can see, we have an adjustment layer with a mask and together with layer styles, stroke and inner shadow. We can always turn these off and on. We can turn off the mask as well by shift clicking on it. Or we can even turn off the adjustment layer. So completely non-destructive. And to make it even more interesting, I can even use the move tool and move this frame around. So if I want to show something else, I can concentrate on the mountains or the river or back to the little girl. And if I use the free transform tool, Command T or Control T on PC, I can even turn this frame around or give it an angle and I press enter to accept it. And probably something like this is even more interesting than the original composition. So once again you can see that masking techniques are essential to be creative in Photoshop and to be able to make changes easily.